Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. In the last video, I did a Nautilus Fibonacci spiral type thing. Uh, and the colors I used were Artist, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Liquitex Basics, Thalo Blue, Artist Loft Old Gold, and Artist Loft Copper. And it was a thicker consistency. I got a very cool pattern out of it. But I wanted to try it today with, um, with a thinner consistency, more like a straight pour. So this is one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and thinned with a mixture of 90% water, 10% Floetrol, until I get a consistency where when it drizzles off the stick, it disappears immediately into the paint below. It doesn't make a mound. You don't want the mound. Not for a straight bore. If you're doing a regular ring pour or a flip cup, then a slight mound is a good thing. It is also important to make sure that all your paints are the same consistency. Or one paint will run faster than another and then it'll just run right over top of your other paints. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do, because a straight pour is so thin, my edges need to be covered. You don't get fantastic coverage on the, on the edges with the straight pour. All right, I'm gonna put some paint in this cup. This size canvas would need about five and a half ounces. I won't necessarily need quite that much because I will be laying down a base coat. try something different this time. Instead of just pouring it in one spot, I'm going to do a stripe down the center and see what happens. Now the gold, the same thing, stripe down the center. Both the copper and the gold have, they sink to the bottom, besides the little drips from the top. And that's what it looks like. I'm just gonna let that sit for a second while I apply the rest of the base coat. Okay, there's a little more than, or a little less than four ounces in here, but I plan on stretching it and there's a base coat, so it's more than enough paint. All right, I'm gonna try something different today as far as how I'm pouring.
and breathe now. Now I will take this off of here. Now what is happening here? I can see that it's fighting back right here. I gotta figure out why. Is it a dry spot? Okay. Bringing it back to center before changing direction. If you are careful and you recenter your paint when changing directions, you will be able to keep your composition. So my little spiral in the center is still looking good. You want your eye to have somewhere to focus. Where does it rest? Always remember to scrape the bottom of your canvas because as that paint is dripping, it pulls paint with it. So if you can keep it from dripping, you have a better chance of maintaining your composition. All right, I'm going to let this sit for a minute and I will bring you in for a close up. Okay, here it is. Definitely turned out different than my other straight pours. I imagine that the way that I loaded the cup had something to do with that. It's a lot lacier. Let's see if I can zoom in on that for you. A lot of lacing and feathery effects. Still very pretty just different. It definitely has a 3D effect to it when you use metallics with a non-metallic background. But I dig it. It looks pretty to me. So I learned something. I hope you did too. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good. Satchmo. Oh my lord. Please like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar if you feel so inclined. My website, GinaDeLuca.net, to purchase my art and music. Our group, Go Make Some Art on Facebook. Join us there. Post your masterpieces. Ask your questions. And... uh. This cat is distracting me. <laughs> um, the Amazon link. Do check that out. Anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I make a small commission of at no additional cost to you. And there's also below this video a Teespring link where you can get shirts and mugs and such that say, go make some art. 
All right, you guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.